Hello students, we are solving the IB Math A HL past paper questions and currently we are solving the IB Math A HL May 2022 paper 2 time zone 1 past paper. And today we will be solving the question number 3 of this paper. You will be getting the links to all the previously solved questions of the other papers and the first two questions of this paper in my channel in form of playlist my channel's name as you know it is ns online math tutoring classes so without any further delay let us start answering question number three the maximum mark is six and it says a discrete random variable x has the following probability distributions the x values are 0 1 2 and 3 and the corresponding probabilities for x equal to 0 is 0 0.41 for x equal to 1, it is k minus 0 0.28. For x equal to 2, it is 0 0.46. And for x equal to 3, it is 0 0.29 minus 2k square. The part E says show that 2k square minus k plus 0 0.12 equal to 0. It contains just a single mark. Okay. So, we know the total probability is always equal to 1. So, we just add these four probabilities and equate the expression to 1. It is 0 0.41 plus k minus 0 0.28 plus 0 0.46 plus 0 0.29 minus 2k square is equal to 1. Okay. And now this is equal to negative 2k square plus k. And for this, I'm using the calculator. This is paper 2. So we can use the calculator. It is 0 0.41. Minus 0 0.28 plus 0 0.46 plus 0 0.29. Okay. Enter. 0 0.88 plus 0 0.88 is equal to 1. So now I am adding 2k square minus k minus 0 0.88 to both sides of this equation so that the left hand side becomes equal to 0 and the right hand side becomes equal to 1 plus 2k square minus k minus 0 0.88. I have added 2k square minus k minus 0 0.8k to both sides. So this becomes 2k square minus k. And what is 1 minus 0 0.8? 1 minus 0 0.88 is equal to 0 0.12. So plus 0 0.12 equal to 0. So this is the expression. This is the expression 2k square minus k plus 0 0.12 is equal to 0. We have shown this. So we have solved subpart A coming to subpart B. Find the value of K giving a reason for your answer. It contains three marks. Now this is a quadratic equation. So it is obvious that it will be having giving us two K values. And over here they are saying find the value of K. That means we have to keep one value of K and reject another value of K. And we have to give the answer, uh, give the reason for our rejection for or 
for our acceptance of a particular value. Okay. So before that, let us find the two values of k. T equal to again we will be using the calculator, a new algebra and polynomial tools. Find roots of polynomials. It is uh, degree is two. Okay, and a two x square. So this is the coefficient of not x square. In this case, it is k square. So a two is two. K one is the coefficient of k, which is negative one, and k zero is the constant term, which is zero point one two. Okay, enter zero point two and zero point three. We are getting the two k values as zero point two k equal to zero point two or k equal to zero point three. Now we have to reject one and accept another. So let us start with zero point two. Can we take the zero point two? We are having the two probabilities with k. This is p of x equal to one uh, is k minus zero point two eight. And if we take k is equal to zero point two, the probability p of x equal to one. Will be equal to zero point two minus zero point two eight, which will be a negative number, which will be less than zero. And we know that probability cannot be less than zero, it cannot be more than one, it cannot be less than zero. So we have to reject this zero point two value, and we have to take the zero point three value. And we have to write this reason. Okay, so k e equal to zero point two is rejected because then probability of x equal to 1 becomes equal to 0 0.2 minus 0 0.28, which is less than 0. Okay. Fine. So, therefore, k e is equal to 0 0.3. Now coming to subpart C, hence find the expected value of x. And we know that the expected value of x will be the sum total of the products of x times the corresponding p of x. So the expected value of x is 0 times 0 0.41 plus 1 times, in place of k, we will be writing 0 0.3. 0 0.3 minus 0 0.28 plus 2 times 0 0.46 plus 3 times 0 0.29 minus 2 times 0 0.3 whole square. Okay. So, 0, point, 0, uh, 0 times 0 0.41 is of course equal to 0. So, we start with 0 0.3 minus 0 0.28, 0 0.3 minus 0 0.28, plus 2 times 0 0.46, 2 times 0 0.46, plus 
p times within brackets 0 0.29 p times within brackets 0 0.29 minus 2 times 0 0.3 whole square minus 2 times 0 0.3 whole square into it is 1.27. So this is equal to 1.27. The expected value of x or e of x is 1.27. Okay. So we have solved this question number p completely and I'm Nilanjana Sanyal. I am an online IB Math E SL and HL level tutor. I tutor students from within India and outside India, and I offer both one on one and small group online tutoring services. And right now, as you are seeing, I am making videos on IB Math E SL HL. Ask paper questions and I'm uploading them in my YouTube channel and it's online math tutoring classes. So in case you are liking my explanations, please do like these videos and please do share these videos with your friends so that even they can get benefited by watching these videos. And please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will be motivating me to make more math videos for you. We meet again very soon in our next session where we'll be solving question number four of the same paper. Till then, bye.